All right, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? GI Geo Gamer here, and today we are back with a brand new video. Today, guys, we're going to be playing a different video game. It's a brand new game review. I'm going to start it up right now because I want you guys to hear like the, how it starts. Welcome, Welcome to, to Brawlhalla. Hey, guys, let me go ahead and set this up. For Brawlhalla, ladies and gentlemen. Brand new game. Let's jump into it, shall we? Brawlhalla. Super Smash Brothers for PC is essentially what it is, in my opinion. Uh, let's go ahead and just take a look at things. You play local games. You know your brothers, sisters, friends. All your legends. These are all your different characters. Um, there are different outfits uh, which you can buy. And then I believe you can actually change their weapon um, skins as well. The store where you can buy... Um, the crates, or the skins, or the legends themselves, or the colors, or effects, so much stuff. Brawl of the Week, never messed with this. Um, apparently it's a weekly rotating mode. Custom Game Room, this is how you would play over the internet with your friends. This is what James and I do, um, pretty often, pretty much every day now. Ranked, compete on the ladder, get your skills up. And then, of course, just regular old casual gameplay. Now, you can play this game with a keyboard. You can also play it with a controller. I was playing it uh, with this PlayStation controller right here. However, I recently have switched um, back to a Xbox 360 controller. Online. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, so you use a different legend each stock. Those of you who don't know, or maybe never played Smash Brothers, or just don't know what stock means in general, that's your lives. Uh, each stock is each life. Um, experimental 1v1, I'm assuming that's where they test out different um, features in the game. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just do some free-for-all. Now, I personally, this dude right here was my favorite, but I did go ahead and buy this guy. Um, I'm not sure, I'm going to buy this guy after, but let's go ahead and just play with the dude that I've unlocked. So, here's your uh, pick your character room, right? Um, if, you, if this is my own personal lobby, you could change all these settings. What do we want? Uh, oh, you can pick all your characters. Now here's where it gets a little bit cool. You can see each character has different stats actually. Um, and these two things right here are their different weapons. So um, Orion has this huge uh, like drill and a spear. Wushong has super fists and a spear. Um, Bodvar has a hammer and a sword. Um, Classic Brin has a spear and an axe. Uh, Classic Brin, just Brin. <laughs> Um, so they all have their different abilities. You can change their colors. Again, you unlock more colors as you go. Orion. Um, oops. Um, here's where you would change the skin for each of the weapons. Here's where you change your skin for your character. And then, uh, actually this is what drops you in the game if you get KO'd. And then you have stances, which will take one bar from one stat and move it to another stat. So if we go ahead and look at Wushong, I'm using this um, strength stat which takes one from here and adds it to here so it's a pretty cool aspect of the game let's go Orion. ahead and jump into some actual gameplay shall we Orion it is Orion there we go guys and this is just a little warm-up as we wait for players um, all right here we go Lord Vrax Queen Nye Ember and Orion so you have standard attack which is X on an Xbox 360 controller. You then also have uh, charge attacks. Um, here, I'll just give you guys a demonstration. Charge attacks, which you can charge up. Um, you have your down, up, and side. Uh, and then you pick up your weapons individually. So you start out with just, this is really loud. You start out with just your bare fists. Um, and then as the game goes on, you unlock, or you get your different abilities, um, or your different weapons, rather. You can go ahead and throw your weapon. Uh, whoops, I didn't mean to actually throw that. Uh, there we go. And so as you can see, like, a charge attack will obviously do a crazy amount of damage. Ooh. And then you do have a save move. You can wall jump to get back up and fall off. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. You can dodge, um, which you can't hold. It's just a one-time thing. And then if you jump and you move side to side and dodge, you actually kind of do a, a little float, which I find really cool. 
because you can like drift over people and then come back for a combo. Um, ooh, nice hit. Oh, get wrecked, buddy. Oh, that's a KO for the boy. That's a KO for the boy. As you can see, our health in the top right, the, the darker the bar, the more damage you take, the farther you fly. Just like Super Mario Smash Brothers. Um, and this is a point-based game, so... Obviously, um, it's whoever gets more kills and more damage will win. It's not a matter of lives. I don't know if there's a way to enable playing with lives. Um, obviously, I would prefer that kind of game mode. Uh, and also, if you do get thrown so far, you actually... Your weapon gets knocked out of your hand, which I find to be actually a really cool aspect um, because you know you can't just go forever. So as you can see, this Lord Brax guy has the same weapon I have. You know, your move set is a little bit different um, depending on your. Ki oh wow, he just got a double kill with it. Your weapon uh, or your attacks with each weapon is different per character, but. Um, you do get the same weapons. Now, currently there's only two other items in the game. There's the spike ball, which just does damage, and then there's the mine, which you saw me throw a minute earlier. And if you place it and they stand on it, you know, they get blown up and get knocked around a little bit. Uh, ooh, there's also this horn, which summons in, like, this dragon, uh, type thing, which is actually really nice. It doesn't really do much knockback, but it does a good amount of damage. Um, so I generally do choose to go for that. If I have a weapon, I'll just you know, temporarily throw my weapon or something and go ahead and snatch it right up. Now we're actually in a lead right now. I don't know if we're gonna hold it, especially if I keep running in the Lord Bra Brax. Oh, can we get a cheeky kill? Oh, uh, no, Ember, you jacked my kill. This per wow, 12 to five now. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be beating this, guys. Just give me the weapon, just give me the weapon. Nice, I did get it. Uh, oh, there's also the bomb, which does do good knockback and pretty good damage. So that green thing right there is a mine. Um, again, I'm not too good at the game yet. I've only been playing it a little under a week. Um, but yeah, it, it's pretty nice. Uh, it's not as complex as, I guess, Smash Brothers would be. But it's still, you know, same principle. Characters fighting characters. God. And you can actually taunt. Look at that taunt, bro. Um, Alright, we came in second place. Not bad. Five KOs, eight KOs. Alright, not too bad. Wow, Queen and I are really not doing much at all. Um, there we go. We unlocked a new stance for him. And I'm going to switch back to Wushong for this. Uh, we'll go... Hmm, I kind of like the purple, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and... Can we just create, like, a private... Hmm, apparently we can't. So let's go ahead and add a bot. There we go. Alright, so the bot's on easy, just because I want to be able to go ahead and demonstrate. Um... Alright, these are a couple of the maps. I want to go ahead and demonstrate the moves. Um, and then we'll go ahead and end off this video. So, alright, spawning in. Three, two, one, now, please don't go right after me. So, you have your charge side attack, which you can hold or just drop. You have your charge, uh, oops, your charge down attack. You have your charge up attack, which is the same thing as just holding your standard charge attack. You then have a, um, a running attack, a regular standing attack, a down attack, and that's it. Now, if you're in the air and do your up attack, power attack, you'll do your save move. Um, each aerial also, you know, you can do a downward strike, you can do a side strike, you can do an upward strike with your super move, or with your, um, I can't remember what exactly they're called, but with your legends ability or with just, um, uh, your standard attack. Um, now see, she has the same weapon as we do actually. Um, Wow, that was intense. So obviously each weapon also has their own abilities. So that was my downward attack, whereas if I take my fists, that's my downward attack, which I'm about to KO her with. Ready? 
does so much damage, guys. So each attack has different ranges, or each weapon has different ranges, different strength, different knockback power. Um, that also depends on your character. Now, see, you can hook up combos. Like with him, you can do his side regular attack and then his uh, legend attack. Just like that, and it'll do an uppercut as his regular attack, and then if I press um, B, it does his legend attack, which is a combo. You could also, you know, just continue to do the regular attack, which does a grab, a slam, and then maybe follow it up with a side charge attack. So, all in all, uh, it's a really cool game. You can throw your weapon any direction, you just have to, it depends on how long you hold it or uh, which way you aim the joystick. I'm not really sure how it works on keyboard. Feel free to try it out if you think it might work better for you. I know uh, James personally does prefer it. Uh, you can also do some pretty sick combos with like, uh, whoa, 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 with, see right there. Uh, you can jump, 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 save yourself, or what's best is jump, jump, up, um, legend attack. Um, now some good combos, you know, will require you, oh, really? Dominating. All right, nice. I got him back. Uh, some good combos will require you to maybe throw your weapon. Oh, goodness sake. Chill out. So, say we throw it, and then we follow it up, pick it back up, and do some combos. Uh, it, it's pretty... It's a little bit more difficult to learn than Smash Brothers, in my opinion. And it's not as complex, but it still is a really good game. I highly recommend you guys try it out. It is free on Steam. Uh, there will be a link in the description below. And uh, yeah guys, if you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, let me know in the comments below if you did go ahead and try this game out. Um, they give you free characters every week, uh, every week or every month to try, and I'm definitely going to keep playing this game uh, quite a good bit. So guys, hope you have enjoyed this review, if you did, be sure to smash the like button, and uh, leave a comment if you do indeed get the game, I really would appreciate it, and uh, guys... We're at 107 subscribers at the time of recording this. Hit that subscribe button, dude. Uh, it's just so awesome to watch that number go up um, and watch the views go up and just know that people are enjoying watching my content. So, guys, if you did enjoy, I will definitely catch you in the next one. Goodbye.